Welcome to this tutorial video for Swift Pilot Client and this time we talk about X-Plane model sets and specifically about the XCSL models. We start off on our Swift homepage. The link can be found just below this video in the description. And uh, once there, look for the CSL models and AI aircraft menu entry. You go there, select X-Plane 11 and you got all the information here. You may want to insert the recommended installation practices. You can read it here either or you watch the tutorial video that we made for this as well. But for now we want to start on the XCSL subpage and you see it's a lot of text but it's really not hard. You just have to follow this one by one. We start off uh, by loading the XCSL homepage which will look like this. Go to the download section and then make sure you download the version 1.2.0 for your operating system. In my case that's Windows. And then opening the zip file you find this folder XCSL updater 1.2.0 and you simply install it. Go in there and you start a program. So at the moment it's pretty empty. We first have to configure it. Go to the file menu and set the X-Plane location. In my case that's here. On the X-Plane select the X-Plane EXE file. Open it and this is done. And now one important thing is you need to set a custom path. So what shall we set? It's saying warning this function is designed for advanced users. Yes, with the help of this tutorial you are now an advanced user so click OK. So what shall we do now? Have a look here. Uh, we are now in here my temporary directory and the issue with XCSL is that after downloading these files we will have to convert them to be readable by Xplane for the use in Watson. This is applicable to Swift Pilot Client and as well the other Watson Pilot Clients that are compatible with Xplane. So the principle is that we want to have a separate kind of master directory where you copy your master copy of XCSL aircraft outside the Xplane directory. And we will never touch these files except when we update the XCSL files. So just create a new folder here and you can call it whatever you like. For example XCSL master. Select it and define it. That's it. So now it's still empty. What you have to do now is you click here on index. Index means that uh, the XCSL updater will have a look in this directory that we just defined in our custom path and check if there are any aircraft installed. And as you see, no aircraft installed. So let's just download a few of them. As example, you can select all of them, Control A, or you select a few of them while you hold down the control button on your keyboard and select a few of these uh, directories and then you click on update. And the update will take a few seconds. Obviously if you download all of the files, which are several gigabytes, it will take a few more minutes. Once the download is completed, the selected aircraft types will show in green here and up to date. And in the XCSL master directory we can see the aircraft types that we just selected for download. Before we can do anything else we have to convert these files otherwise they cannot be used with Watson because they cannot be displayed. But one important thing is that we should not convert the master files of XCSL but we should make copies of them. This is due to the fact that 
when you ask the XCSL updater to compare your local files with the server, they will show up as not up to date after you convert them. So first copy them to your explain custom data CSL and then XCSL directory before you do anything else. So now it's time to convert these models for use in Xplane and Watsum. Let's come back to the um, XCSL models help page of Swift and you will find in the step 13 a link to our model converter page and you will find there there is a uh, it's description for Windows systems and as well for Mac OS and Linux systems. The difference is that in Windows you can use the built-in script function of the mapping tool while in Mac and Linux you have to do that manually and for that you need the Python script program and the script itself. Let's start with the uh, Windows system and we need to load our mapping tool. Here we are. And the mapping tool, make sure that you are on the stored own models tab and that you have selected the correct simulator platform, in our case, Xplane. And then click on Force Reload Xplane. This will force Swift mapping tool to scan your Xplane directory for all existing aircraft and models. And as you can see, our XCSL aircraft are creating a lot of error messages and they are saying unsupported IVO CSL format consider using CSL to XSB. Very fine. So in this case, select any model here, right mouse button, simulator and then select option explain, run CSL to XSB on all models. And there we go. This um, console window opens and it's asking you if you want to convert all aircraft in X-Plane 11 uh, to this. And you say yes and hit enter. And it will do its job. Now at the end of the process, the program will ask you to hit enter to finish it. And there we can go. And we are back in our mapping tool and the files have been converted, so we have to reload them again. And there are other messages, but none of them are related to incompatible models that couldn't be loaded. All right, the same thing can be done as well manually. If you would like to use the script file, you need to download it. You can find it here, this page. It's a tiny file and it actually does look like this. It will only work if you have Python, the program, installed on your computer. Do it. If you don't have it, do it from uh, your link that uh, is on our homepage. And, uh, and then if you only want to convert all the XCSL files, just place it inside the XCSL folder and then start it. And we got the same dialog that we have seen before. And we say yes. And it will now scan all the directories that are at the same level or below of the location of this script file. And this was considerably qu quicker and faster because it only had to uh, convert the f files in these three directories. And again, hit enter, hit enter to finish. Uh, sometimes it's resisting. Now that we are done, um, you can create a model set. And for this, please refer to the dedicated video that will tell you how to do this. And last but not least, 
Should you update your XCSL master set, you will have to first delete all your XCSL models that are installed inside your Xplain custom data CSL XCSL folder. Then copy all the XCSL models from your master set into this XCSL folder, then convert them and then you can again reload them in your Swift mapping tool and then create a model set.